Welcome everybody to a new video on model formulation. Uh, in this video we will uh, go through a recipe for how to write up the state space form from an interaction graph. And this is a sort of basic idea of how to gradually write up a model. Everything else is just variations thereof. And as before, uh, this is um, the part of the teaching material of ISP Group. Uh, it's free to use for anyone who wants to use it, as long as you say where it's from. And this is part of the this is the core of this cloud here, which is how to go from uh, biological knowledge about the system to a mathematical model. This is really what this cloud is about. And uh, once we have put this up, we will uh, then at the end uh, be able to uh, learn if we can reject this or not, given some experimental data. So this is where we are in the bigger scheme of things. So uh, just to illustrate in one slide uh, where we are or what we are trying to do now in this video. Uh, so we will have uh, we will learn how to go from a model depicted in this form here, where we have some interaction uh, graph, uh, which is basically um, a network where we have some uh, A that is being converted in interaction V1 to B. Uh, it's also being converted in another reaction to C, and then C is being broken down in V3, and so on. Uh, and these little things here that we have above, uh, these are the reaction rates. Uh, so uh, a model specified in this way, we want to go from that to a state space form description, where we have ODEs with the states uh, and the derivatives of the states, initial conditions and measurement equation. And if you are unsure about what these things are here, I would suggest that you, before viewing this video, uh, view um, some of the some of the other videos that goes through um, that goes through all these components here one by one, or that you listen to this video again after you uh, have done that at a later point. So the question is how to go from this way of describing a model to this way of describing a model. Yes, and before I uh, specify how I will explain uh, the way to do it, uh, I will come with some disclaimers. Uh, and the recipe that I will give here now for how to do this is only, only valid if uh, we have stoichiometric coefficients that are 1 or minus 1, or, or 0, of course. Uh, so uh, we cannot have reactions that are of this form, uh, 2a plus b plus c, because this 2 here is the stoichiometric coefficient and it's not 1 or minus 1. Uh, we also assume that if we have transport between different compartments, uh, we uh, do this uh, between compartments that have identical volumes. And uh, another assumption is that uh, the temperature, pH, and all of these things are constant. And apart from that, we also assume that all of the other things that are uh, classical conditions for uh, an ODE to be valid, um, they also have to be fulfilled, of course. So if we have a compartment with a concentration, this compartment has to be well stirred, or the assumption is that it's well stirred, that it's the same in all parts of the compartment, that the reactions uh, and the processes we're considering are not stochastic, and so on. So now to the general recipe. Um, Number one, identify which are the states. Uh, and this is basically all the nodes in the interaction network. Uh, and you can choose uh, them uh, to be specified either in concentration or amount, and you have to choose one of these. Second, uh, identify which are the reactions and decide upon a form for the reaction rates. So here you typically choose between mass action kinetics and um, and michaels menten expressions. So you need to choose upon these uh, and specify those rates. Once you have those, uh, you uh, can write up the ODEs by summing up all of the ingoing reactions uh, by summing those corresponding reaction rates with a plus sign and the outgoing reactions with a minus sign. So the sum of all the ingoing reactions with a plus sign and the sum of all the outgoing reactions with a minus sign. Uh, and then you should specify the measurement equations. And finally, you need to give values to all the, 
all the things that need values, which are the three types of parameters, the kinetic rate expressions, or the kinetic rate parameters, uh, the initial conditions, and the measurement parameters. So, finally, let's have a look at an example of, of how this is done in practice. So, uh, the task is to write up the state space form, so the all of these three equations that we saw on the previous page for uh, for this little interaction graph here. And uh, this is the same one as I used in the previous videos. Um, so here we have some reaction that converts X into Y, where U is a catalyzer. And now remember that here U is not being used in this reaction, but it's only affecting here because the arrow goes to the arrow and not like here where it where sort of merge. So here Z is a substrate, so Z is being used in this reaction. U is not being used. So U is an input and Z is the uh, is a substrate to this second reaction. So we have two reactions. And just to remind us, these are the five steps in our little recipe. So let's go through them one by one. So identify the states, which are the states. And here uh, X will be a state, Y will be a state, and Z will be a state. But it's not X, Y, and Z because these are chemicals. Uh, so we need either the concentration or the amount. And let's now just for the sake of it, choose amount. So x1 is the amount of x, x2 is the uh, amount of y, and x3 the amount of z. And now let's specify the reaction rates. Uh, and here uh, it's important to, to, to realize that uh, there is no obvious way of just looking at this one and knowing what are the reaction rates, because uh, you can actually choose quite a few alternatives. And uh, one of those uh, alternatives uh, is mass action kinetics, and uh, another is Michaelis Benton expression. And if you have it like here, you, you have two things that are affecting. You can actually uh, have a combination of, um, of those two. Uh, so here we have uh, something that has a Michaelis Benton like expression for U, so there is a saturation with respect to U. And uh, it just increases indefinitely for increases of x1. So this is a combination of those two. This is maybe a bit more complicated than we will typically see, but if you have two uh, things that affect, then it can be like that. Uh, and for the second reaction here, we assume mass action kinetics. So it's just uh, a rate constant times this one times this one. And the key difference here is that uh, as U increases, the rate will not increase forever, but it will reach a sort of maximum value. Uh, yes. And these are now just assumptions, assumptions that we need to specify on top of what exists here for, uh, for this interaction graph as we see it now. And, but once we have made those assumptions, once we have made those assumptions, um, we, uh, can, we are ready to write up the ODEs. And this is the sum of all the ingoing reactions minus the sum of all the outgoing reactions. So if we look down for X1, which is the concentration of this one, there is one outgoing reaction and no ingoing reaction. So this means that it's simply minus V1. Uh, for X2, which is Y here, we have one ingoing reaction, V1, so it's plus V1, and uh, one outgoing reaction, so it's minus V2. Uh, and X3, which is the concentration of Z, uh, there is one outgoing reaction, so it's minus V2. So these are the ODEs. And you see how easy it is when you have first specified this one. You don't have to do that, you can actually write up here uh, minus, instead of writing minus V1, you can write minus V max times X1 times U uh, and so on. Uh, but this is easier. So, measurement equation. Uh, again, there is, uh, from looking at this one, no way of knowing what is measured. So here you simply have to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, consider what are the assumptions, what, are the, what is the knowledge that we have about the system, and then you have to write that up. And the general thing to learn is to be equally comfortable in writing this in words. So equally comfortable saying something like, we assume that what we can measure is the rate of the second reaction times an unknown constant. Uh, or seeing a reaction, or, or, or seeing an, an, an expression like this, which says exactly the same thing, that y hat is equal to some new parameter, ky, times v2, 
and v2 was the rate of the second reaction. So these two things are exactly the same. So if you are asked to write up the equation corresponding to this, you just write it up. Finally, let's identify the parameters. And I devoted a complete, uh, a complete video to this, so if this feels too fast, then please uh, cons consult that video. But there are generally three parameters, the kinetic expressions, or the kinetic rate constants, the initial conditions, and the measurement parameters. They can have different colors. So Vmax, Km, and K2 are the uh, rate constants. Km and K2. Initial conditions, one for each state, and the measurement parameters. And they need values. So that's it. This is the general recipe for how to do it. And everything else going either in this direction or backwards is just variations of this simple recipe.